Well, Melody, it's a special girl stay today, and she's not even up yet. Mom, I'm really nervous. What are you nervous for? You're not the one trying out for the play. No, but I know how badly Cheyenne wants this. I hate to see her be disappointed. Honey, I, I, I'm glad that you care that much about your sister. But Cheyenne has to realize that not even she gets everything she wants. Yeah, nice for her confidence, Mom. Honey, I'm just trying to be realistic. But I'd rather you be supportive to Cheyenne. Morning. Hey, Cheyenne. Hi, sweetie. Are you ready for your audition? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> I'm really nervous, Mom. You're going to do great. Thanks. Well, look, I better go. I'm going to be late. Not so fast. You still have to eat your breakfast. I'm too nervous to eat. I'll eat when I get back. I promise. All right. I just hope you don't faint or anything. Mom, I'm only going to be gone for an hour, an hour and a half tops. I'll be back. It's not like I'm going off to war. No, but you might as well be. Melody. Why? Look, I got to go. I'll, I'll be back. All right. Good luck. You're going to do great. Thanks. Well, I know that you had an audition today, and I figured you needed your best friend's support. Thanks, Melody, but we're probably going to be here for a while. It's okay. I brought my phone. I'm going to play on it while we're waiting. Yeah, as long as you're supportive. I will be supportive. So are you nervous? <sighs> Very nervous. I really want to get into this musical. Yeah, I know. I mean, you may not have made the musical last year, or the year before that, or the year before that, or the, okay, I get it. Why do you keep trying? Because I'm not a quitter. I'm going to try until I get into a play. You know, good for you. Cheyenne Webb, you're up. Okay. Don't worry, Cheyenne. I'll be right out here when you're done. Okay, good luck. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hey, how'd the audition go? Okay, except that I messed up on the dance we were using for the audition. Well, that's okay. Musicals aren't all about dancing. This one is. The musical's called Crazy For You. It practically is about dancing. Do you even know the story of that? Of course I do. What I mean is you have to really know how to dance in order to get accepted. And I don't have much experience. Well, if you knew... You weren't going to be able to dance well. Why'd you waste your time auditioning? I wasted my time because it's what I wanted. <sighs> Melody, really, how insensitive can you be? I'm sorry. It's okay. So, are you going to check your email to see if you made it? Why bother? I know I didn't. Check your email anyway, honey. Don't get discouraged. Okay, fine. I'll check my email. Mom, do you think she's going to make it? Heaven, heaven, I hope so. Let's pray. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, here goes nothing. Come on, email. You've got mail. Oh, my gosh. Cheyenne? Cheyenne? I could hear your oh no's all the way in the living room. Well, it is a small house. Never mind. Did you get in? No, I didn't get into the musical. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, maybe I should just give up trying out for plays. I never get in. I don't even get in the ensemble. Don't give up, Cheyenne. You'll get into a play. When? I'm already a sophomore at the high school. Two more years and, I go, and then I'm off to college. I always wanted to go to a college specializing in performing arts. Well, how am I going to do that if I don't have much experience? Cheyenne, just leave me alone. I don't want to talk about this anymore. 
go sit with mom or something. I just want to be left alone. Okay. Go ahead and sit here and be, feel sorry for yourself. But how is that helping? Just go. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. How's your sister doing? She's not doing too well. Really? She found out that she didn't get into the musical. Oh. I feel bad. She seems really upset about it. I don't know what to say to her. I better go talk to her. Um, you can watch TV while I'm talking to your sister. Okay, Mom. I'll be back. Hey. Diane? Come in, Mom. Hi, sweetie. I heard what happened. So Melody told the whole world, didn't she? Honey, she only told me. And I'm not the whole world. No, but you're most of it. Cheyenne, I know you're disappointed. But we're not disappointed in you. You did your best and that's all that matters. Mom, my best is never good enough. I'm never going to get into a play. Game over. Sweetie, Mom, I just don't want to talk about this. Okay? Cheyenne, I know you're upset, but feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to help. It's only going to make you worse. I don't care. All right. We'll talk about this later. You're just very upset right now. We'll talk about this later when you, when you calm down. You don't count on it. Well, look, I have lunch ready. I made my famous pizza. You love my pizza. You're not hungry. All right, well, I'll keep, a, I'll keep a couple pieces for you and put them in the oven to warm up. You can come and eat when you're ready, okay? How's she doing, Mom? She's still very upset. She won't talk about it. I know, she wouldn't talk about it with me either. I feel so bad for her. I don't know what to do to help her. I know, honey. But let's just leave her alone for a little bit. Why don't you grab a piece of pizza? I'm not eating until Cheyenne eats. Well, honey, that could be hours. I don't care. And that's... It's not going to be for hours. What? I'm going to talk to Cheyenne. She's going to feel better on her appetite will come back. You'll see. I spend a lot more time with her than you do. Well, you're right about that. Let me know if you girls need anything. I will. I hope she can get through to Cheyenne. Cheyenne, what are you doing in here? This is my room, too. Remember? I'm sorry, Melody. I f forgot. I guess I have a lot on my mind. A lot on your mind? You have only one thing on your mind, and that's the fact that you didn't get accepted to be in the play. Look, I know you're disappointed, but it's not the end of the world. Maybe not to you. I mean, I'm tired of auditioning for the plays and not getting a single part in them. Maybe I should give up. No, you shouldn't give up. Aren't you the one always telling me not to give up every time I want to try out for a solo in my file? That's different. No, it isn't. I mean, I got, I got disappointed more than once. But I kept trying. And that's what you have to do. But what if I keep trying and keep trying and never get into a play? Well, then Mom would be really proud of you because you kept trying. And so will I. You're my big sister and I look up to you. Do you really think that I want to make the same mistake you're considering to make? That's not fair, Melody. Hey, I don't have to be fair. I'm telling you the truth. You really think that I'll get into a play? Eventually, yes. But now you have a whole year to practice. I guess. And I, I'm sure Mom told you this, but we're not disappointed in you. Yeah, Mom did say that. I guess I'm just disappointed in myself. Well, don't be. You are very talented. 
And if the drama department doesn't see that, you don't want to waste your time with them anyway. You know, maybe you could take acting classes in the plaza downtown. They have acting classes there? Yeah. Well, it's all performing arts, acting, singing, and dancing. Maybe you could start to take lessons there. You know, that's not a bad idea. In fact, it's a great idea. Yeah, well, I do get those occasionally. I'm gonna go talk to mom, and then let's have some pizza. Great. I'll see you in the kitchen, okay? Mom? Hi, sweetie. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Look, I'm really sorry that I was so short, but honey, it's okay. You were just upset. I understand. Are you gonna have some pizza? Yeah, but first I have a favor to ask you. What is it, honey? Do you think I could sign up for the performing arts class downtown? You mean in the plaza? Yeah. I would love to enroll you in their lessons. Really? Yes. If that's going to give you confidence and if that's what's going to make you happy, then I'm more than happy to do it. Thanks, Mom. Hey, I love you. I love you, too. Now go eat.